Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make these little cupcakes. The longer you make your chain, the larger your cupcake will be. I'm going to demonstrate with a small cupcake, and you can make yours any size you would like. So I've got my chain, and I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. When I reach the end of my chain and I have one last stitch, I'm going to make three single crochets in that stitch. So this is what I've got. I've got my foundation chain and I have single crochet in each stitch across the row. Now I'm going to single crochet down the other side. I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch of the chain. And this is the last stitch. I'm going to add one more stitch in that last stitch and I'm going to slip stitch to join. So here's the bottom of the cupcake. And now I'm going to start working one single crochet in each stitch. Now work in a spiral. Working in a spiral means there's no slip stitch to join. You just keep going around and around and around. I'm just going to start in the same stitch that I slip stitched in. So a single crochet in every stitch round. And the work will begin to curl up and form a bit of a pouch. And if you want to make a large cupcake, you could begin with a chain 12. If you want to make an extremely large, start with a chain 20. It's all up to you. This pattern that I've designed is designed in such a way that it won't matter how many stitches you begin with. So as you can see, it's already starting to form a little pouch. So this is going to be the bottom of your cupcake. You can make your cupcake bottom as tall as you would like. If there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Um, but the only thing I like to try to remember is that when I stop, I stop in the same area as this yarn end so that I don't have one side taller than the other. So when I get to the other side here, I'm going to fasten off this color and I'm going to add a color for the top of the cupcake. So right here, I'm going to stop and fasten off. So there's the bottom of the cupcake. And you can see it's a little pouch. Attach another color yarn in the same stitch that you fastened off. You're going to chain one and make one double crochet in each stitch around. slip stitch to join. So now we're going to make it larger so that it rounds out. So we're going to chain two and make two double crochets in the next stitch. Like that. Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to repeat around one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet, two double crochets. Now we'll make the top curve, so chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, skip the next, single crochet in the next, 
skip the next, single crochet in the next, continue across the row, skip, single crochet, skip the next stitch, single crochet, skip the next stitch, single crochet, skip the next, single crochet, and we've reached the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch to join, and we're going to fasten off. Around this row, we're going to add the frill attach yarn in the same area as your other yarn ends. So now you're going to work across the row and we're going to work into the sides of these double crochets like this under here. Okay, so we're going to make three double crochet in this first stitch. Three double crochet. Like that. And now we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch I'm going to make three double crochet. So I just come around the bottom. I just go underneath the double crochet and I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. In the next stitch I'm going to make one single crochet. I'm going to repeat that across the row. Under this stitch, I'm going to make three double crochet. And in the next stitch, I'm going to make one single crochet. I'm going to continue across the row. And when you've worked all the way across the row, slip stitch to join and fasten on. If you want this part of the cupcake to flare out more, do four double crochets in each one of these stitches instead of three. I have here one of my crochet buttons, so you could just go to my crochet button tutorial and make a button and sew it at the top of the cupcake. If you're not going to use it as a pouch, you can just totally close up the cupcake by sewing it together when you sew the cherry on top. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've attached one of my crochet buttons. And to make the closure, you would simply, on the opposite side, pass your hook through and bring the yarn through and make a chain of six stitches. And then slip stitch right back into the same stitch that you started your chain. those two yarn ends into a knot and then weave these yarn ends back into the finished work. But then you now have a buttonhole that you can pass over your button to close up your little pouch like that.